give Ryan one piece of advice right now for his career moving forward to be successful, what would you tell him? Be patient. It's, uh, it's a difficult time in the sport to be coming in as a young guy, obviously. And he's been running part-time and he hates it. You know, he loves to go racing and, and he's got to spend a lot of time, you know, sitting around and trying to figure out what he's going to do next year and, and looking down the road. Uh, you know, we've been trying to put together a full-time deal for him. So it's be patient and hopefully we'll, we'll find the right opportunity for him to uh, show what he can do. What is your favorite memory of watching Martin race throughout your life? That's a good question. <laughs> um, huh. <laughs> Probably when he won Dover in a nationwide car. I think he was in the number eight KFC car, 2004. Yeah. Yeah, I was there for that. I was in the stands, and then I came in on the front stretch and went into victory lane. So that was cool because all our family was there. Okay, I was going to ask, what about that stood out that made it such like a significant? Yeah, because it's Dover. I mean, we both want to win there all the time. It's our home track. How about for you, Martin? you have a point in his career that stands out that your, your favorite moment? Actually, I wasn't even at the track. It was, it was um, I, we were at Pocono. I, th I believe we were having we were uh, we had a, ha a happy hour on Saturday like practice and Bob Dillner came over to me He's like hey, did you hear I'm like hear what he's like your brother just won Watkins Glen So that was his first uh, win in the K&N e series and uh, That was pretty cool. You know, I was pretty I was super excited, you know Because I had no idea what was going on. I was out to practice in my car and to hear that So that was definitely one of the coolest things was to, to know that he won his first race in the K&N We've already heard Ryan's answer, but <clears throat> you and Ryan in cup race are running neck and neck. You're in second, he's in first. Well, Would you take him out? I know what he said. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely said he'd run into me. I didn't say it like that. No, I, I, would, uh, <laughs> I definitely wouldn't take him out, but I wouldn't be afraid to rough him up a little bit. Would you, uh, what about just in the regular race? You would never intentionally? Would Absolutely you? not. No, I mean, I don't intentionally wreck anyone, really, to be honest. And, I kind of pride myself on being a clean racer and trying to pass guys the right way, so I would obviously do no different with him. How about in a fist fight of the two of you, who, <laughs> who would beat up who? Older and wiser, I definitely would. And what is your guys' relationship like with each other? Uh, it's, it's about like what you see here. We don't say a whole lot. We're both kind of quiet, you know? <laughs> Sherry and everybody else is like, do you guys ever talk? But. Uh, we have a good relationship, you know, obviously um, with me moving away to, to race a long time ago when I was, you know, Ryan was still pretty young when I moved away from home to come to North Carolina and start my racing career. So uh, we spend definitely more time now um, through racing and spending time, you know, at home talking about racing and things than, than we ever did growing up because, you know, again, the age difference is so much. So uh, it's been fun to be part of his racing career. I've owned a, a few cars that he's drove the past few years and um, it's been fun to go to the track and, and watch him learn and try to help him along the way. Did you ever think that you guys were going to be in the seat you are right now, hanging out and doing this together, you know, talking no. NASCAR in your careers? Not at all. I didn't think I'd ever make it this far. You Did you? Well, I didn't even know you wanted to race till you were 15, you know? So yeah. He started late. Were you in that same boat? Because he said, I think 13 was when he got into Bandolero. Was it 13? That was 15. <clears throat> nope. 13, 13. 14. No, Time flies. I was, uh, I was 11, so I was a little bit younger, but not, not a whole lot, you know. But like when I was a kid, I was always going with my dad and stuff and, you know, hanging around the shop working on stuff. And he really didn't show a lot of interest. He was riding skateboards and hanging out with his buddies. And then all of a sudden it was like, you know, we all thought, nah, you know, I guess Ryan, you know, he's really not interested in racing. You know, he's pretty quiet and he didn't say a whole lot. He never really talked about it. And, uh, you know, then finally my dad's like one day he just came to him and said, hey, I want to, you know, dad, I want to drive race cars. And my dad was kind of shocked by it. And it was funny to watch, you know, to, to watch him come up through the ranks and everything. Everything he got in, he knew what he was doing already. And all those days of us thinking he didn't want to race or he didn't really, you know, wasn't really interested in it, he was really paying attention to what we were all doing and learning. And when he got in the race car the first time, it was like he'd, he'd been doing it for years. That's something that I had asked Ryan as I said, do you feel you've rushed anything at all with yourself <clears throat> through your career? Because he basically was like, I put a year into this, kept moving up, kept moving up. Or do you think that he just... He said that your dad always wanted you guys to continue um, to always feel challenged. Do you think that that was kind of the case or do you feel like he ever rushed anything? No, I think, you know, obviously he had success in everything he's, he's done and it's important to, to not dwell on that success and, and, you know, step up to a new challenge. Um, it's easy to, if you stay in the same kind of car too long, you know, say a Legends car or a Bandolero, you, you, just, you develop habits. 
and, and it gets hard to break those habits as, as you, you know, venture on into to racing different types of cars in a different series. So it's important that, uh, you know, you go out on top, so to speak, you know, get good at something, move on to the next thing and, uh, you know, it keeps you fresh, keeps you uh, pushing for more. For both you guys, if someone turns your brother, <clears throat> do you hold a grudge, even if it wasn't against you? Do yeah. I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do, I'm too. I'm still mad at Jeff Gordon from Sonoma, like, two years ago. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely. I, I mean, I do, too. I get mad, you know, because you don't want, I mean, it's your family out there. You want them, you know, you're kind of trying to look after them. You don't, want, you don't like people to do you wrong, whether it's, you know, in racing or, or otherwise in life. And how about your pops? Is he similar to you guys as well? Pops gets fired up. Yeah, he, he's got the worst temper out of all of yeah, us. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs>